Welcome back to the third part of my presentation on current state engineering. In the previous part, the second part, I was talking about Kansei. Kansei is a Japanese term, Japanese way of thinking, a Japanese philosophy in product development. And that is what I uh, showed you in the second part. Now let's take that a little bit more into action. Have a look how this Kansei can be utilized in product development. Stay tuned. In the third chapter, I will go through what Kansai engineering means, meaning how Kansai is combined with engineering methodology. Uh, also, I will go through a little bit of uh, psychology and uh, psychological concepts, how, how Kansai and engineering can work together. But uh, once again, for your understanding, I think it's a good thing to uh, explain the etymology of the Kansai engineering uh, ta uh, term. So, uh, in Japanese, you have different type of alphabets. These signs belong to the so-called kanji sign uh, alphabet, which is very similar to Chinese. And you can see that uh, depending on how the how how the uh, kanji signs are put together, um, they can have different meanings. So uh, you have can say, uh, can means heart or sensitivity or something. And if you if you have a good fantasy, you might understand here some some type of, of heart. And uh, here you have a human being. Uh, and then you have engineering part. And the engineering part is easier to understand. You have this sign which very much looks like a steel beam that's technology and then you have a sign which looks like well you might have come might imagine this is a pupil sitting at a desk in the school meaning knowledge so can say engineering depending on how those things uh, follow on each other this means can say engineering or it means something <laughs> very different so how does the Kansai work? And uh, there's another uh, term, the Chisei, which is more or less the opposite, um, which could be translated in some way as cognition. So you have the feelings on one side and you have the cognition on the other side. So how does that work? We, we start out with some type of uh, input, stimulants, and uh, as soon as you have some sensory stimulus from your feeling, from your uh, smelling, from your taste, from, yeah, mention, you can mention whatever you want, uh, it will build a Kansai. That Kansai uh, becomes some type of feeling and emotion and uh, will be then a faction in, in the human brain. Also, from that uh, stimuli or input, you will get a chise cognition here, as you see. And uh, this is uh, related to logics, recognition, understanding, and both of those things will be produced in your brain. The thing is the following. There is a temporal delay in there, about 0 0.4 seconds, which means you when you get some type of uh, stimuli, you will first build an affection and 0 0.4 seconds later, you will have some type of cognition. What does it mean? Yeah, that works in the following way. You have your brain stem. That is the oldest part of your brain and uh, that is constantly looking for dangers for saving you. So if you would have a snake in front of you, you would immediately get a bad feeling and affection and you would probably move backwards 
uh, 0.4 seconds later, uh, you will understand what has what has happened. And you might have seen that before. Some accident has happened, and you you afterwards realize what has happened. But in the very situation, you have been um, reacting very very reflex uh, wise and uh, that is something which is protecting your body without actually thinking your body knows what's good for you protecting you that's the psychological principle of kansai and chisei and there is a delay a time delay before the the impulses from the brainstem as i explained to you n uh, reach your your uh, frontal lobe which is uh, just behind your forehead where your cognition and your your awareness is located that means for cancer engineering purposes that if you ask people or if you give people some intended stimuli for example ask them evaluate this new product this mobile phone or uh, the services this restaurant this food uh, evaluate this this new perfume uh, there will always be a kansai first and uh, which is followed by a cognition an affection first 0.4 seconds later, you have a cognition. Also, you will just get a representation of the Kansai. So it's not so that uh, we, whatever measuring instrument we use, uh, we will just get a representation of the Kansai. It's not so that you're actually getting a complete description of the Kansai, but some type of representation depending on the tools. Also, you will get the representation of the Chisei. The thing, however, is that we are not interested of the cognition or the chisei part. So what we want is that we just want to measure the kansei. And this means that a tool which is capable to measure the kansei must be very quick. It must actually measure be before these 0.4 seconds have passed and you build some type of chisei. The reason is the following. Uh, a couple of years ago, we were engaged in a study with a company producing whiteware. Uh, we were testing a methodology to evaluate the quality feeling, the quality impression customers had on, on whiteware. And uh, that particular methodology should be then used for benchmarking their products against others. Uh, strangely, we found out that uh, some of the products which uh, were prototypes they had and had a very low quality feeling came out quite good with a quite, quite good quality feeling. Initially, we thought the methodology was wrong, but then we understood something. They understood that the measurement was not done within 0.4 seconds. The thing was that the persons, the participants, were of course realizing that the product had a very poor quality. At the same time, they were reading on the label the brand, and uh, that brand was considered to be is considered to be quite high and quite luxurious and uh, delivering good quality. So they evaluated the product of with, with high quality, and that of course we don't want. We want the, we want the representation of the kansai, not the chisei which means that uh, by taping over the brand name and redoing the whole thing again we and, and measuring faster we then could evaluate uh, could uh, evade the risk that people would actually um, rate on their cognition than on their affection so what are the takeaways from this part well firstly you have the kansai Kansai has a brother or sister, uh, as you want to call it, and uh, the Chisei, cognition. The Kansai, however, is a little bit faster when it's built from some type of perception. The uh, Chisei is a bit later. Most often, when you uh, do product development and when you want to measure the Kansai, the feeling, uh, you have to measure before the cognition is built. 
because the cognition is a very powerful thing. It can override the feeling. And if you want to measure the feeling, you have to do that in advance. Also, I was talking about how that can be done in practice with a computerized system, which will be able to utilize it. So uh, in the next part, we'll have a look on how that's done practically.